it's a cloud doll. One of my favorite kind of dolls to make are the darkest one, especially when you mix a sweet character and let discover a dark side of it. Come across this else doll. So let's see the dark side of her. First of all, I have to undress her and prepare her for the customizing. As usual, I cut the hair really short and then with my hair dryer I make the vinyl soft and I pop out the head from the body and with my tweezers I pull him from the neck hole. With 100% acetone I will remove the factory face. And she's ready for a new character. The body, I will sand it with my nail buffers and clean it with nail polish remover without acetone. I'm gonna give it this beautiful, amazing hair. I'm gonna reroot it. First, I start around the hairline as usual and then I go in the center of the head. When I'm finished, I'm gonna use fabric glue this time to glue all the air from inside of the head and let it dry for the night. Now it's time to prepare my pencils, my soft pastels. They have to be really, really, really sharp. I'm gonna transfer the soft pastels to a sandpaper to free the powder so it's easier to use them. After three layers of mist to super clear, I can start it. I always use a light brown pencil watercolor to start sketching the face. This time I'm going to give her blue eyes and purple eyeshadow. I'm not going to give her too much blush because she's a cold character, so I'm not going to use too much blush on her body or on her face. If you want to see what kind of materials I use, the link is in the description box below. With white pastel, I give her the highlighters in her face. And now I'm starting with a black highlighter, always with a sharp pencil. Thank you. 
and of course the bling bling. I'm gonna use micro powder in the white color to give it shiny. I'm gonna start with the dress. I found this fabric that I thought it was amazing and perfect for her character. I'm gonna fold it in three, in a triangle, and then I will cut it And now I'm gonna start building the dress. I wanna align everything so that it will be perfect. First of all, with my lighter, I'm gonna seal the fabric and then I'm gonna sew it all around it. After I finish, I'm gonna attach the dress in the back side with this ribbon with kind of a choker. The sleeves, I'm gonna use the same fabric but only the satin part and I'm gonna sew it and attach it under the arms to the dress.
and with this amazing fur fabric I'm gonna give it the necklace the decolle I'm gonna touch it directly to the dress And it's time to decorate it, the dress with these rhinestones, these snowflakes in silver color that I'm gonna glue with hot glue. I'm gonna give her this silver chain in her neck and around her hands to represent the prison where she lived because she had to hide from everyone the power that she had. And I finished the dress with these holographic white flakes. The shoes, I'm gonna use the original shoes from her, but they have the wrong color. So I'm gonna paint them with silver I give it two layers and let it dry and I will decorate it with this glitter with this metal star. It's Cinderella time. They are perfect. I printed the Elsa crown in my 3D printer and now I'm gonna prepare her cutting the support, sanding be very careful because she's really really fragile and I'm gonna paint it in gold and then finish it with a blue rhinestone and epoxy resin to make her strong Thank you. 
For the hair, I give her a long braid and I'm gonna sew it directly and I will decorate it with some little rhinestones, crystals And I'm gonna put her the crown in place and she looks amazing it's time for the eyelashes and our Elsa is ready I'll leave you with the last pictures of her I hope you love her as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like the content, if you want to learn more with me, if you want to walk with me in this long journey of doll customizing. And I see you on my next video. Bye!